This is just a little feeding video of my Russian tortoise. I call her Natasha. And uh, she's been out of hibernation for about three weeks now. It's uh, tax day, April 15 in the United States of America. Uh, we have a postponement uh, another day or so. But I thought you might enjoy getting a uh, close-up of a Russian tortoise eating some sweet corn. I cut this off the cob uh, last year and uh, froze it and I thawed it out this uh, afternoon and I'm going to uh, do a little feeding video. I'm not sure how anxious Natasha will be with me crawling into the uh, cage with her. She's going to go about her eating. I'm going to try to get in a little bit closer. Close-ups. I was just down at the uh, at retirement center and they had a beautiful uh, male sulcata tortoise on display for the children. Sort of a petting zoo and a uh, python and uh, grandkids really had a lot of fun. The sulcata tortoise was strong enough that it could actually carry my grandson's weight. And i uh, got a little short video of that. But in this case it's just a feeding video of my uh, Russian tortoise. I'm about 12 inches away, invading her space. The uh, box turtles I pulled out of their hiding areas and uh, they're just warming up slowly. It was 30 degrees last night. and. Uh, the Russian tortoise, because of where it, uh, you know, its environmental conditions where it lives, it's sort of used to uh, real inclement weather, whereas the box turtles are uh, like a lot warmer weather, I think. Anyway, <coughs> you might enjoy this. I measured the. Uh, shell on this box turtle and it is I thought it was much larger but uh, it appears that it's about seven inches the average size for uh, Russian uh, tortoises to be but boy is she hungry <laughs> I've seen her just sometimes just run away from me frightened to death you know that I'm gonna hurt her or something and I've never been mean or anything to her and she is just chowing down on this corn. When I put it out here on the plate and uh, surrounded it with these, uh, actually there were uh, six box turtles. Uh, one of them took off and was somewhere else in the enclosure right now. Uh, she decided, she saw me feeding them and putting the corn in front of them and she decided that she was not going to wait and she was going to come right down here and uh, have some of this uh, delicious sweet corn. The brand name is Ambrosia. <laughs> it's quite a wonderful sweet corn. It's uh, one of the super sweet corns. And it's obviously a favorite of Russian tortoises. Certainly mine. She's just gobbling it down. I'm really pleased that uh, she's allowing me to get within six inches of her with this camera. So, a lot nicer than having a turtle that just scared to death of me. I don't think she's eating this way just because she uh, 
is starving to death and she needs to eat all this food, but uh, I have this feeling that she's going to eat all of this corn today. The Russian tortoise is one that uh, I adopted from a nice young gentleman, a uh, young old gentleman that was having some difficulties with his health and he had ad adopted the uh, this tortoise and it was sort of starving to death, a, a young teenage. Well, it's very difficult to care for box turtles or Russian tortoises and give them the proper care that they need. At least that's my impression of them. Uh, I think they like to live outside. And I think if you have to keep them inside, it's just a very unnatural environment. But uh, a lot of box turtles and a lot of Russian tortoises probably live out a quite normal, wonderful life inside out of the uh, outdoors. But I think they really, I don't know if they enjoy it, but they uh, respond much better. They respond in a very nice way to the environmental conditions that they can have when they're outside. And you'll see it too in some of my old videos or in some of these, you know, when the weather gets a little bit warmer and the box turtles that are I'm going to back up a little bit the box turtles that are just soaking up uh, rays of sunlight right now on top of the uh, I have a plastic tabletop here uh, covering the top of their hibernation chamber um, I have two entrances to the hibernation chamber this is uh, I guess it would be the south entrance and uh, I'm going to take the camera and put it in towards the entrance of the chamber. It goes down a hill here about 30 inches into the darkness there where the uh, box turtles hibernated last winter and so did the Russian tortoise. And over here on this side, oh look, I got another little box turtle sticking his head out here. I'm going to just grab him, or her, I think it is a her, and put her up here where she has an opportunity if she wants to uh, get some food as the Russian tortoise <laughs> tries to eat it all while the box turtles look on. And this is the, uh, I guess, the east entrance to the hibernation chamber. And uh, I'll just take the camera and push it down the hole. It goes down and eventually it gets down uh, to the bottom another, oh, two feet. And it uh, is about 30 inches underground, I estimate the uh, depth being that much and during the winter when it gets down to seven below zero Fahrenheit um, the uh, box turtles and Russian tortoise that are in the hibernation area uh, survive. I block off the uh, entrances to the tunnel so that they don't have any opportunity to get out um, during the winter and uh, they somehow have the ability to survive a vicious winter. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've educated you in some manner or at least told you about what I thought about box turtles. I think these guys are starting to enjoy the little bit of sunlight that they're receiving. One of the things about box turtles or many different kinds of turtles that you may keep is that they sort of have a different uh, way of reacting to the environment. They're very slow, you know, and like you've always, always heard that 
box turtles and turtles are slow. Well, they can run and move very quickly if they need to or if they want to, but they react to their environmental conditions very slowly. Well, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed a little bit of my uh, spring 2017 enclosure box turtle Russian tortoise update. I've uh, Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any kind of questions about box turtles or uh, Russian tortoises, I'll give you my opinion. I may not be uh, may not be the correct answer, but I've successfully kept box turtles without any deaths whatsoever for more than five years, and I've raised them from hatchlings, and I have um, quite a bit of personal experience and uh, I have read quite a bit about them on uh, line and on YouTube. 